Alrighty everyone, good evening and welcome to another fun stream of Chrono Trigger. Last time around was one of the more productive sessions we had ever had. Um, basically doing the entire Kingdom of Zeal plotline in one fell swoop. Even doing the uh, Dalton plotline after the fact, taking care of him and uh, getting him the hell out of here. So now if you remember, we are after Lavos essentially attacked 12,000 BC and destroyed everything. Which is why as we walk around here... Uh, everything's gone. We're just on an island, right? Now, if you remember, they had said, these, these remaining people who survived, had said, someone here washed up who knows you, and they're up at the northern coast. Here we are. Who could it be? So, it's you. Magus! Behold, all of it rests at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I lived there once, but I was another person then. We're gonna get some story! What's this? A dimensional vortex? We were right then. This power is beyond human control. Oh no, we'll be dragged into the rift. Shala. No, Janice, stay away. But... Whoa. Oh boy. It... It's a... A time gate? No! Sh Shala! Janice! Is this place hello there's no one here is this the end of time ah we're getting some answers now you you are that boy I've lived only for the thought of slaying Lavos. Ever since his rift in time's fabric stranded me in the Middle Ages. And just as I had summoned him to my castle, you arrived to interfere. To think I would be drawn through yet another portal, only to find myself returned to this very age. Ironic, is it not? Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the Queen that I was an oracle of no small power. And so, again I worked to draw the beast out. But no history book could have prepared me for what ensued. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Before him, all are as leaves cast to the bitter winds that howl about blacks, death's black wings. Excuse me. Stay this course, and your fate will be the same as that fool Kronos. You dare dishonor him? Play with fire and you get burned. A lesson learned sooner rather than later. The weak go quickly to their graves. Say your, stay your tongue, Magus. You wish to fight me? Yes or no? If you don't know, so you guys don't know. This is a critical decision in the game. Right now, your choice if you want to fight Magus or not changes the course of the game which is pretty interesting because a lot of people would say well yeah he's the boss you already fought him in 600 AD you know he was the demon lord he's the one who turned frog into a frog right he's the one who did all these awful things so yeah fight him let's do it let's do him in but there's a twist 
if you say no. Taking your life will not restore Chrono or Cyrus theirs. Wait. I'll accompany you. Are you mad? I said the fool was dead. I did not say his death could not be undone. Uh, what do you speak? Gaspar, the guru of time, knows the way to restore those streams of time that have been diverted from the proper courses. Ha! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you say no, you don't fight Magus, and Magus joins your party as a party member. Pretty cool, because most people would just say, yes, let's fight him, and have a big epic boss fight. And if you have the epic boss fight, you get rewarded and everything, and that's the end. He's gone from the game, and you never see him again. But since you say no, Magus joins your party. How cool is that? So, I mean, who do we want him in here to replace? Like, oh man, I don't even know, <laughs> right? Who the hell do we want him to replace at this point? You know? Maybe get him in here and have him learn some double up attacks with the rest of the party. Here, let's get him in with maybe Marl and Frog. You can even make him the party lead. Look at this. Now he's in charge. And look how he walks. He floats. How cool is that? So, for those of you who missed what just happened, that was a humongous plot dump and plot reveal, all right? Basically, he was Janice, the kid who had the cat from Zeal. And he got sucked through a time warp because of Lavos. He was teleported forward in time to 600 AD where he jumped out and landed amongst a bunch of monsters. But because he had magical powers, the monsters took him in as one of their own and basically made them their, their, made him their leader. And he grew up in 600 AD as a, a, a dark magician who then became known as the Fiend Lord, the lord of all the monsters at that time. And then, of course, what he was trying to do was not to summon Lavos in 600 AD so that he could have Lavos destroy the world or give him power. He hates Lavos. It was his job. He was trying to bring Lavos back so he could fight him and kill him because he very, very erroneously assumed that he'd be powerful enough to kill Lavos. Now, as we know, as we just saw in the last time I played the game, when Lavos was first summoned from underground and was quite weak, Magus tried to fight him and was defeated. So there was no way Magus was going to beat him 12,000 years later. But that's a pretty cool plot twist, is it not? That he was Janus. He's actually, in reality, not a villain. Although you can argue he's done villainous things, it was all to try to stop Lavos. Pretty interesting. So now he joins your party. So now the cool thing is, you have all these different parties you can do. He's actually one of the best magicians in the game, by the way. Um, he has some really cool team-up attacks with various characters and stuff. And uh, now we're going to be free to move on and do things we want to do because we have some time to kill before we get Chrono essentially rescued, which is what he's alluding to. He's saying, go talk to the sage of, or the guru of time because he knows about reviving people who are lost in time. By the way, if you didn't notice, he has a dark element. He's the only person who has an outright dark magic element, although arguably Chrono, or excuse me, Robo also is dark magic. Okay, one thing I want to do before we move on, so he has Shala's Amulet, prevents all status ailments. One of the best items in the game. You put it on character, you never want to get confused or screwed up. But we have a rare item around here called the Black Gemstone. You see that? So if you equip that, he now gets a special tech. The thing is, he doesn't have it yet, okay? But, eventually you can get a technique, all right, where he teams up with two others, and it's the best triple tech in the game. And we found that rare item in Zeal when we were there. If we hadn't found it while we were there, we never would have had it because Zeal's destroyed. There's no way to go back to Zeal to get it after the fact. So it's a good thing that we actually got it when we did. 
Okay? So there you go. Um, so I know that was a lot to explain. Take a look. He has Lightning 2, Ice 2, and Fire 2. He has all of the level 2 magic spells by default. How cool is that? Right? So, um, maybe we'll just stick with this party for now and we'll figure out what we want to do. So I'm going to, obviously I'm going to take that off because he can't do this yet. He can't do the Eternal Darkness Triple Tech, I don't think yet. Um, let's go ahead and let's maybe, I'm trying to see like what would I want. I think I should put the Silver Stud on him. Okay, and maybe put Shala's Amulet on him or let's see, Magic, Accuracy. You know what? We'll give him magic plus six, and we'll give him. Where was it? The silver stud. I'm stupid. It's right there. Silver stud. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. All right. So, we just did a lot that was unexpected. We have a brand new party member. And now we're basically free to do some stuff or whatever we want we want in the game. What I think we should do first... By the way, I have some shout-outs to do, and I will do those in a moment. Don't worry, everybody. I think I want to take the Epic for a spin. What's that? Huh? That's... Uh-oh. Look what's happening. Look at this. It's like it's calling us. Death's Ferry, has it come for us? The Ocean Palace, but no. Uh-oh, look at that screen. It looks like something is happening. Look at this. A vortex has appeared, but why? Is Lavos's hand in this as well? What's happening to our world? Well, we got a lot going on. Well, before we decide what we want to do, let's do a lot of shout-outs. First of all, Little Crow, thank you very much for his super chat. And he says that he had sent me a tip. I will check on tips in a second. Thank you to Little Crow for the super chat. Seagram's Seeger also just did a super chat. So thank you very much to Seagram's uh, for that. Let's get you up on the leaderboard because you're the latest person to do it. There you go. Now, as for tips... We start off with a $2 tip from Little Crow. Thank you so much to Little Crow for this initial $2 tip here of the night to get us going. I really, really appreciate that, Little Crow. And then... I received a $20 tip from an anonymous tipper. It says, thank you so much for playing this game. It came out before my time. I'm really enjoying old JRPGs now that I'm watching them. You'll find in my opinion, that the plot line of a lot of these older RPGs is far better than the modern ones. I mean it. A lot of these modern RPGs are just so cliche in the things that they say they do. They're all very anime-ish, if you haven't noticed. They're also similar. Older RPGs <clears throat> were laying the groundwork out for all the modern RPGs of today. So all the plot lines were more interesting and original. And, I mean, just look at the plot of this game. How it's gotten so interesting traveling through these different time periods, doing these different things, right? Right? It's pretty cool. So, let's actually do a little bit of exploration. We can actually fly for the first time in the game because we have an airship. So, where does it take us and what will we find? Anything out here? Well, there's what I guess we're going to call the Black Omen. Now, do you really think we should go straight to the Black Omen, or should we investigate a few things? Here we have Small Cave. <clears throat> Look at this. A Time Warp. Where does this take us? Ah! 
back to the ends of time. Now we actually have another one here. Tyranno Lair Ruin, 65 million BC. Truce Canyon, 600 AD. Protodome, 2300 AD. Mystic Mountains, 6500 BC. So we have two different time that we can go to in the ancient past. Lean Square in the present. And the Earthbound Isle, 12,000 BC. However, you'll notice there appear to be two missing. If they were going to make a perfect square, right? Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> let's save. <clears throat> and then... Let's talk to this guy in the middle, because I have an inkling. I think we know who this guy, who's in the center of the ends of time, actually is now. You ready? Let's talk to him and see what he has to say. <clears throat> oh, where's that sprightly young man? I see. How terrible. There's little I can do for you, but let me honor him with a song. I'll call it... Memories of Chrono. Do you hear the song? Were there anything more I could do, I would, but I feared that I can be of little aid. We're looking for the Guru of Time. The Guru of Time, you say? I know of him, but what business have you with the Guru of Time? We have heard that he knows a way to bring Chrono back. Ah, yes, to break death's hold over one you hold dearer still. You are not the first to wish such a thing, nor will you be the last. Chrono must be happy indeed, knowing such dear friends as you. And that's it. Now, in truth, the music we're hearing right now is actually the clue that we need. But you don't know that. But that's kind of neat, is it not? He says he can't help you, but he's playing the song that's the key to it all. So if you think slowly, where in the game did we ever hear this song? It's actually played a few different places. Okay, it has. However, however, if you think back to the very first time, what's funny about this is, it's something that you probably wouldn't expect, all right? But in the meantime, all right, let's take a look at a few things here. First of all, remember, we've got Specchio. But Specchio, last time we fought him, he kicked our butts. Do you think we'd be able to beat him now? I don't think so. I think we'll give it a shot anyway, okay? Oh, look. Look what he says. Just, eh, that spiky-haired fellow hasn't been coming around lately. Wowza. You holding a mall in here, kids. He can use shadow magic. He should probably teach me a thing or two, but there's nothing I can teach him. So we'll try, but we're probably going to get owned here. Okay? God damn it. I bet we could do it if we were just a little bit faster. Like, maybe if I had, um, if I put haste on Frog and he was able to keep casting heal every turn, we would have survived it. I didn't want to do that. Oh, man, what a waste. We're dead. We're completely dead. Yeah. I bet I could do it if I put haste on Frog first so he can heal over and over and over. That's probably what you need to do to win this. Okay. By the way, guys, tonight we have quite a lot of trolls uh, in the chat. So if you haven't noticed, I'm completely ignoring them. I'm not going to give them the time of day because I know who the trolls are. And there's just no point in paying attention to the nonsense. All right. But if they keep it up, I'm just going to clean up all these sock accounts because I know every one of them who the socks are. 
So they can either shut up now or they can all be banned altogether. It's up to them. It's their call, really. You know, whatever they want. <laughs> anyway. Let's try again. I think we could do this. If we catch haste on frog, I think we could do this. Okay. Oh, I'll only ask coffee. I will if I see it. I don't know what was going on there, because like I said, I'm concentrating on the game right now. So I might be very well missing what you're saying. But I absolutely will do that. Can I pause? Who's doing it? Let me take a look. Who's doing it right now? I'll take care of him right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Because they're all the same person. They're all the same person sitting on a computer with 10 accounts. I'm serious. Because they're, they're so dumb, they don't realize that they have people on their Discord telling me all about this every day. There's a complete loser who sits there and makes about 20 dummy accounts every day just to come to the stream and get banned during a stream like this. And then they just make new ones and come back the next day. See? Let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. They're all the same person. It's hilarious. There's like 10 or 12 of these right now. Here's one. Here's one. Got almost all of them. There's one. Almost done. So I got like six or seven there. There might be more. But for now, I'm taking care of all the, the ones that were apparent, okay? If I see more, I'll take care of them, all right? And sorry about the idiots. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think Frog's dead again. Yup, god damn it. Wow. Forget it. We, we just have to get Frog to heal twice before he can spam two level two spells. That's all we need. But he keeps spamming two level two spells before I can get Frog to, to, to heal twice. May have to come back to do it later. Look how close Frog was to healing. Look how close. So, forget it. Just let him kill it. We can't do this right now. Frog needs more HP. The only way I'd be able to do it is if I put the item on Frog that gives him more HP so he can survive two hits and then he can heal. So maybe we'll try it again. Can I put Ayla in the team? I might. Ayla's very strong. And right now, she'd be our best physical attacker, actually, right? Okay. So, hold on. Instead of magic ring, what's the item that increases his health by 50%? Who has it on? Someone else has it on. 
Oh, Marl has it on. So put this on. Speed plus two. We gotta put that on her and then put that on him. Okay, let's try it now. Let's go heal up again. Here we go. Cool. Now let's try it. I should have put haste on him. I screwed up. I should have put haste on Frog. I already screwed up. Because then Frog would have been able to heal again. Yep, because now she's going to die. So now she died instead of Frog. Yup. <laughs> uh. So her haste was worthless. I know, this music is nice. It's actually very significant, this song, actually. Like I said to the plot, as you'll see in a little bit. But it doesn't matter, because we're all going to die now. Get haste on him right now. Okay. Oh, she's dead. Damn it. CJ, thanks for asking. Now if Marl dies, it doesn't really matter. Honestly. But we might be able to win now. So now Frog heals every turn, and we're going to have Marl and Magus constantly pelting him with magic till he's done. So I think we're going to beat him now. Oh, no, the neck is killing me, CJ. It's really the neck, not the shoulder. The neck is freaking really killing me. Got him. We did it. Oh, me, oh, my. That was embarrassing. Hmm. Well, I guess you uh, ain't so bad after all. Here, this is for you. Specchio's healthy choice set. One magic capsule, five high ethers. What can I say? I'm the master of war. So we did it. Had to use a few healing items, but we got it done. Now, does he level up again right away or no? 
No. You have to come back to him later in the game, and then he's, I think he's his final form coming up, actually. All right. So. Let's see. So right now, we have one main quest line that we can do, and then we have a bunch of optional things that we can do. If you take a look, when I just saved the game, look what it just called it. The Time Egg. What? We don't know anything about a time egg, but that's the game actually gives a little bit of a kind of a spoiler there, okay? So Hey. Here, take this with you. What is this? The egg of some beast? That is the chrono trigger. Ah, we got the name. The name, the name drop of the game, a time egg. Should you wish to try and hatch it, the one who crafted your wings of time can tell you the way. But know that it may not be necessarily, it may not necessarily hatch the results which you desire. The chrono trigger represents potential. Results require action. As long as you keep chrono in your heart and pursue what you seek, the results should follow. But I can make no guarantees. I see it now. It's you, isn't it? Wait, then... Does that mean you're Gaspar? The guru of time? <laughs> yes, I believe that is what they used to call me. But that was a long, long time ago. Alright. So he's the third, get it? Melchior is the blacksmith who made Masamune for us. He's also known as the guru of life. Then we have Balthazar who was the one who was warped to the future, and he's the one who made the epic, The Wings of Time. He's also the one that made all that future tech, basically. Uh, and he's also the one who engineered Zeal in the past. And then we've got him, Gaspar, and he has been stuck here in the ends of time, and he created this whole thing, and he just gave us the Chrono Trigger. Pretty cool. All right, so there we go. Now, here's the thing. We actually have options of things we can do right now. And I'm debating what we should actually do next. I think I want to change my party a little bit. I mean, he was always a pain, but now that he's gone, don't go getting any crazy ideas now. I just thought of him like a brother. So, let's swap characters here. I think we want to go with Magus, Luca, and Robo. And the reason being, if I remember correctly, there's a plot line coming up where we need both Luca and Robo to do it for us. I think. So we got a Kaiser arm. That absorbs 50% of water damage. Pretty good. I think we'll keep that on it. Speed plus one. Nah, we can do better than that. How about strength plus four or speed plus two? Either one is good. Let's give him speed plus two. And then for Luca, currently she has the best gun. Let's give her... How about accuracy plus 10 so she never misses? Let's try that. All right. Love her music, by the way. That's one of my favorite theme songs of the whole game right now. So now let's save. And now we have some stuff to do. We can actually go around and do optional stuff. Cool. The epic is gone. I guess we have to go to a different time period first. So, he said to go talk to the one who had made the epic, right? Or the Wings of Time. So that would be uh, Balthazar, who went to the future, but we don't know he already passed away. That doesn't mean that we can't go talk to the new that's a robot that has his intelligence in it. Remember, he uploaded his personality and knowledge to the new robot? So we talk to him, maybe he'll know something about the Egg of Time. But in the meantime, there's other things to do as well. I'm trying to remember where to go. Let's go to Choose Canyon. I left it. I left the Epic. Is that why it's not here? I have to go back and get it. Oh, I have to go back and get the epic, apparently. 
Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Where'd we leave it? Earthbound Isle. That's where we left it. Okay. Yep. So, that's the Black Omen, which we can do at any time, I think, if we want. It's a dungeon, but we're going to save that for later. Let's explore a little bit. Here's where we were, remember? Now, what's this? The Sun Shrine. There's sun, but there's nothing there. Hmm. Interesting, because that wasn't there before, or we couldn't reach it before right? So is there anything else or is this all that there is in 12,000 BC? I think actually this is all there is. This is all that's left because Lavos destroyed everything. So that's all we've got. But now here we go. By hitting X, now we can travel through time. Alright? So I think we should go to let's go to the Middle Ages. Let's see what's going on in the Middle Ages. Okay. So take a look. This is now north. Look at this. This is where, if you remember, where the castle was where we fought Magus. But now it looks a little different, right? We got this thing here. We got this thing over here. We got a bunch of different things going on, right? By the way, the Black Omen is in the Middle Ages. Look at that. It's right. This is actually where the Fiend Lord's castle was. So the Black Omen is now in the Middle Ages. What's up with that? Oh boy. We got a lot to do. We really do. So, we head over here. Look what we just found. Do you see that? Let's save up. Okay. And let's see what this is. The Sunken Desert. Obtain the Lapis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We found a hidden side dungeon. Here we go. Napalm explosion. Slamming us. Look at that. The scythe spin. You see that? This guy's got high defense. But we got him. So, 60 TP. I think, if I remember correctly, this dungeon is going to give us a lot of rewards with TP. Robo levels up. He learned Fire Tackle Dual Tag. So that's a new, a new double tag. Now, who has a healing spell? He just has the three level two spells right now. She just has offensive spells. So here we go. Cure Beam. He's going to learn Heal Beam. That's next, and we need to learn that. That's a group heal spell, so we gotta keep him in the party to learn that. Alright. Oh boy. Very nice. Keep doing these area of effect attacks. Fire two. Magus is the best magic stat in the game. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's the Dark Magician. He's in charge of all the monsters. Damn. A big slam. If you remember, this guy was the boss. These enemies were the boss in the sewers in the future time. 
and uh, they were hitting for a lot of damage back then, but now they're just normal enemies, as you can see. Triple kill. Another 45 TP. Luka leveled up. Elixir. More enemies. There we go again. Alright, I think we might have finally taken care of all the annoying socks in the chat, if you guys haven't noticed. We may have one or two more, but I got rid of a bunch of them. Sorry about that, guys. They've been coming by particularly the Chrono Trigger streams. Don't ask me why. I really have no idea. Those in real life, so I'm loving Armored Core 6 and Chrono Trigger so far. Yeah, Armored Core 6, we had a great stream today. We actually took on the boss. Well, I forget his name. It starts with a B. Bell, Bell, Bell. I can't remember what his name is. But a lot of people rage quit the game fighting that boss. Um, and I beat him. It took him a little over an hour, but I beat him. I had to learn some new gameplay mechanics that actually wouldn't have been implemented up until that boss. But once I uh, figured it out, it was actually fun. Like, I wouldn't say he was any harder than any difficult FromSoft boss up to now. Probably on par with, you know, things that I, I've had in other, other FromSoft games. By the way, Robo just learned Heal Beam. So that means that he's now has a group heal spell, which is excellent. There we go. Beautiful. Good job. <laughs> They're coming out of the woodwork. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it was it was good. And then after that, we even did a whole other stage with another boss. That was quite fun. I think I think Armor Core Six is great. I'm having a great time with it. Six hours in, I don't know how long the game is. Some people disagree. Some people have been saying the game's like 30 hours long, and others are like, no, it's like 10, 15. I don't I don't know how people can have such a discrepancy with how long a game can be these days. It's pretty weird, but a lot of people seem to be disagreeing about it. Critical hit, double scythe spin. Where is Chrono? Chrono sacrificed himself in our initial encounter with Lavos in order to have us all survive. So he is no longer with us right now, and our whole goal is that we're going to try to find a way to get him back. Ambulatory says it's 15 to 20 hours main story. That's uh, Armor Core 6. High Ether. Alright, let's keep searching. Oh, okay. Ah, last chest. Are you? Kagome says that they're Bartman. You're a Bartman. I never knew that you were Bartman. That's a revelation here tonight. I thought that you were Kagome from uh, from Inuyasha, but you're actually Bartman. All right. Thank you, Adam, for super chat. I appreciate that. I'll get you up on the leaderboard right now because I paused. I remember that I can pause in these games now. <laughs> I'm used to playing classic games you can't pause during the combat. Now you can pause during all the combat, so there you go. Okay. No, I've never played a Gundam game, No Sleep Real Vibes. That's what I mean. Like, I, I don't play mech games, so for me to be playing Armored Core is actually kind of something special, you know? Slammy, slammy. Aeonian suit. Would that be good for us? Let's see. He has the Aeonian helm. He has Raven armor. Aeonian suit is not as good. She's still got Taben suit on. Has fire damage. It's B plus three. He's got 20% of water damage. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for the Aeonian suit. Sounds good. Okay. This way. Ah, oh, we got another room. Oh, boy, we're going to run out of uh, TP here, aren't we? High potion. 
Uh-oh. A tremor? Oh, boy. The desertification here is likely the result of that monster's presence. It will be hard to defeating a monster that travels underground. Turbo Ether. Muscle Ring. Take a look here. Muscle Ring. Stamina plus six. So that'll give you, it basically increases your defense and your stamina stat. Both go up. Let's do that. Muscle Ring. High Ether. Uh oh! Oh, shit. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. I really wasn't. I didn't have the TP for it. This is going to be challenging. That did not work in any way. So the center absorbs fire. And the other things... Magic does zero damage. Alright, let's try ice. Nothing. Water hardened sand, defense reduced. You missed! How do they blind Robo? They must have destroyed his eye sensors or something. Nice. Runs wild without its core. Start restoring TP soon. Defense boosted when attacked. turn. And have them attack the top half and see what happens. I don't know if that core ever revives. It's a weird boss. Shit, I attacked the wrong thing. I have to have Magus hit it with ice to reduce its defense again. It sucks that they blinded... Robo, because Robo would have been the best person to punch this thing, but I don't think we can even fix that. I don't think we have an item that will even fix the blindness, so we're kind of stuck doing what we're doing, which means this fight could take a long-ass time. Nice critical hit there.
Uh, Jasper was here both yesterday and today on today's earlier stream, but uh, probably won't be around for a little bit now. for this fight. CJ, have a good night. You killed Luca. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna lose and have to do this over, by the way. I can't tell. Is it Panacea? Panacea on Robo? Of course he had to do that group attack. So now Luke is dead again. Yeah. We got screwed. We're gonna have to do this all over. It sucks. I know you have to destroy the spear first, because if you don't, I'm almost positive that sphere doesn't let you do what you need to do to win. I'm almost positive. Now we gotta do it again. They blinded Robo and screwed us over. Because Robo was the one who was supposed to be doing big damage here. They all have it already. Okay. Memory cap. What is the memory cap? Let's find out. Prevents lock. Uh, well, we don't have, no one's getting hit with lock. They're getting hit. He got hit with uh, blind, which is what screwed him over, right? I'll just give him a shotless amulet. Prevents all status ailments. There you go. Alright, I'll try to fight him again. Ready to go. Okay, here we go. Attack the legs. I'm trying to remember what you need to attack here. I think you might want to attack the legs now that I'm thinking about it.
Because there's different ways to do this fight. Maybe we have to attack the legs first. Good evening, Go Team Venture. How are you? Welcome. Dead. Now it's gonna go haywire. Okay. But we did a lot of damage to the legs. Done, hopefully. I keep healing here. turns now I gotta restore Robo's TP So much HP, man. I think he's going to kill Robo. This is a pain in the ass. Now they're going to kill Magus. Oh my god. the harder bosses in the game you can fight it now but different parties do better you need someone who has like really good physical abilities which neither of these people have i have, like a magic party so it's because of that, i'm not hitting it for much damage that's why it's taking forever and why we're getting home that's it we got we can't do this i need a different party i can't beat it with this party i need 
good physical attackers to be pounding it with, with good damage, and I'm... I have no one right now. They're just hitting it for so little that we're never going to win the fight. Look. I'm just going to let it kill me. It's so dumb. I wasted like 25 minutes on this stupid thing. Ugh. So we got to get at least Ayla or Frog into the party. Luca is doing literally nothing. So we need Ayla or Frog in here to be doing big uh, defensive or big damage. All right. Get Ayla in there. Ayla could also do an additional heal, which is nice. Okay. Alright, guys, we're gonna try it again. Let's split the part though, because we're at an hour. Thanks for watching, and we'll try it again.